praise the Lord. All over the world. Hallelujah. Oh, possessing the nations. Transformation. And we're repositioning the local church everywhere so that we can make maximum impact in the nations. You're welcome to this year's missions night. In case you're not aware, every missions week on the Saturday, we do this missions night. This is the 2023 edition of, yes, edition of missions night. During this missions night, we're going to receive grace reports from the nations. We want to look at what God has done in the year 2022 and give him the praise that is due his name. For God is good and he is through the church of Pentecost possessing the nations, doing amazing things all over the world. Oh, hallelujah. And I'm so excited. We have some missionaries online waiting to bring on board their praise reports. They're going to tell us the miracles and the wonderful things that God is doing in the nations. I'm excited this evening because I already know some of these stories and it's exciting. This evening, I have with me a wonderful man I love so much. A man of God who's done so much for God over the years in the nations. Beloved, help me to welcome our father, Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Ado who is the immediate past International Missions Director of the Church of Pentecost. Welcome. Thank you. It's exciting to have you here with me. <laughs> you see, but for this coming, it's not that much. So, <laughs> you know, that is so welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. It's another um, year for missions. This is Missions Week. Yeah. This is Missions Night. Yes. Are you excited? This is the mother of all weeks. I tell you. You know. I tell you. I, I'm more than excited. I yes. mean, every missions week is a time to celebrate the goodness of God, mm. the tenacity and perseverance of uh, Father Makion mm. and his early lieutenants, mm. and also all our missionaries from the Makionite days mm. till our day. Mm. It's time to celebrate them. And, and, and to praise God for what he's doing in the church. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, wherever you are, just lift up your hand and yes. say, thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Say, thank you, God, for he's doing amazing things. I am sure that you've seen some of the documentaries, some of the videos, and tomorrow you're going to watch in church the missions, the main general missions documentary that tells you what God is doing in the nations. You know? This is the immediate past um, uh, International Missions Director. This, this, this church is not a political arena where when you finish your, uh, your tenure, <laughs> you go and you start demolishing everything. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no. so this is how we do it here yes. because Christ lives in us and are beautiful. So, Daddy, we, we want to thank you and appreciate you also. I think that um, you spent eight years? Ten years as the IMD of the church. And we can see that everything that is happening that we are celebrating today. Um, we're building on the foundation that those of you who finished your work, the, or the IMDs yeah. um, that have gone by the work that you have done, that's the foundation we are building on. So it makes everything easy. Yeah. Because you build a good foundation. So the Lord bless you. Amen. How exciting is it to see that what you grew, somebody else is watering and it's bearing so much fruit. Yeah. Uh, um, see, the, when you have worked as a missionary or even as a pastor, in, like in, in the Church of Pentecost, we, we go on transfers a lot. And so sometimes when you are transferred from a place, and you hear um, you are working in a new place, and then somehow you hear that things are not going on very well in your previous station. Much as you want to take your eyes off it, sometimes you can't, because you look at your toil and everything, and then 
uh, it's like, you know, so it, it, it becomes very, very painful, mm. even though sometimes you, you, you cannot do much about it. Mm. And so if I turn your question the other way around, that, that is how it looks like. So if it is so, when things are not going well, how will it be when things are going very well? Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. something you have done yeah. and somebody is building exactly. on it and it is going very well. Exactly. Uh, I, I mean, you are super excited. Mm. And that is the position I find myself in now. Mm. Very, very excited because, uh, as you said, the work that has been done over the years, mm from the time of uh, our first IMD, mm -hmm. Apostle, now Apostle Professor Poko Yida, Apostle B.K. Arthur, Apostle, late Apostle Dr. S.K. Beidou, mm -hmm. and then my, myself. Mm -hmm. um, and now, uh, my brother, Apostle Emmanuel Ajimambe Queen, is taking it to a different level. Wow. It is very, very exciting. Wow. And uh, when you sit back and watch, you can only praise God, yes. and also encourage them. Yes. Uh, Apostle IMD and his team, mm. um, the, the missions board. Sometimes we forget about the missions board. You know. But, <laughs> you see, <laughs> they, they are the yeah. engine behind the, the screen. Yes, you true. know, the screen that we see, there is an engine behind yes, it. Yes, uh, yes. And it is the missions board. Mm. And I always say that the missions board, the, in the wisdom that God gave our forebears. Mm. It is the only committee or board in the Church of Pentecost where the chairman himself mm -hmm. chairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Okay. So big. it shows you how important and the pedestal on which the church leadership from the time of Marquion mm. put on missions. Mm. It means that missions is on a very, very high pedestal in the affairs of the Church of Pentecost, mm. with the chairman himself mm. chairing. And so um, you want to encourage all of them. They are doing the yeoman's work. And now let me also um, congratulate the, the chairman yeah. and then the executive council. Mm. The innovation and the idea of expanding mm. the missions board mm. to include the RCCs of the external branches, mm -hmm. it, it's incredible. Yeah. And I think it's one of the epochal decisions that has been taken mm -hmm. to push forward the work of missions. Mm -hmm. and, and so, yeah, I want to encourage the missions board to congratulate them. I want to encourage, uh, as I said, uh, Apostle Ajiman Bekwe, mm -hmm. the IMD, and the missions office staff our missionaries all over the world. Mm. And last but definitely not least, the rest of us. Yes, you know. <laughs> the rest of us. The rest of us. Yes. Ministers, mm. officers, mm. members, mm. youth, mm. children. Mm. I'm excited. Yes, yes. It's I'm excited. excited. It's exciting. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the support yeah. that we are. We will say that, yes. Um, there is always room for improvement in everything that we do. But so far, you, COP member, COP officer, COP minister, we salute you. We salute you. God bless you. Wherever you are, we salute you. This night is a night where we appreciate God and all of you, every one of you. I don't think there's a member in this church that has not contributed to me. No, everyone there has. There is none. Everyone Even has. the one that I'm put sure. in... Tempest West. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That was the Absolutely. widow's mind. So everybody, because every month we're giving to missions. Yes. So every all month. of us, mm -hmm. we did this. Every God month. did this through us. Yes. God bless yes. all of you. Yes. If I, um, those of you who are confused, let me remind you that Apostle um, Emmanuel J.C. Ado is the immediate past IMD. He's finished his job. The current IMD is Apostle Emmanuel. Ajimai, the queen. Okay? So don't get confused. So people don't follow his history. <laughs> yes, it's true. Yes. But he's here today to help us celebrate what God is doing in missions. I'm also, um, we used to complain about the fact that when you go outside Ghana, our churches are just Ghanaians, you know, churches are just Ghanaians. We used to complain. And um, now that we are getting more information 
from the external branches by way of um, videos that previously, I remember, I remember that previously. It was very difficult to get these things, even though you would ask. Very yeah, difficult. even though you would I, ask. I remember because of some work that I, we've done together. It's true. So, so, but now, it looks like the videos are coming. So we have information and we know. So it looks like we just slept and woke up one day <laughs> and all of a sudden our churches are um, indigenous. Yeah. And, and, but tell us. Yes. You've gone around all over the place. Our churches are more indigenous than we thought, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Yes. And it has been so for a long time. Mm. You know, but sometimes people visit one or two places mm. and they use it as mm. uh, some kind of a benchmark yeah. to characterize the whole the mm. entire mission's work. Mm. But go to a place like Madagascar. Mm. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't find, uh, who are you, which, which Ghanaian are you going to find <laughs> there? I don't think... <laughs> with the thousands of members that we have in Madagascar, you will get, you will get more than 10 Ghanaians. Mm. You know, mm. it's a purely indigenous church. Wow. Tanzania, Kenya, um, Ecuador, mm. when you go to Ecuador, mm. it's purely indigenous. Dominican Republic. Yes. I mean, all our churches in Asia, I mean India. Mm. <laughs> How many yes. Ghanaians would you find yes. in, the, in the Indian church? Mm -hmm. You know, so Sometimes people visit some of our churches in the Western nations and then, you know, where the African population, especially the Ghanaian population, is, is high, and they, they think that that is the, 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 the gauge mm. that all our churches ah. are like that, oh. you know. But even in the West, mm. um, it is not a peculiar COP phenomenon. Okay. It is because of what is happening today in the world, in the global world today, postmodernism mm. and all those things, you know, making the West extremely secular, mm. extremely godless. Mm. You see, so that is what is happening, um, is projecting our churches like that. But even that, things are gradually changing though it is gradual, mm. but we will get there soon. Yes. But apart from that, all our churches in Asia, in Africa, in uh, South America, go to Brazil, go to Argentina, I mean, and all these, these nations, El Salvador, I mean, these are indigenous mm. churches. churches. Yes. Well, of the Church of Pentecost. Yes. And, oh. so, and so it is so wrong for one to think that our churches are Purely like what used to be yes. called Ghana, Ghana Church. Church. You know, <laughs> you know, it, no. is Ghana it is not Ghana Church. It is not Ghana Church. Yes, it is, it is indigenous. It is multicultural. Yes, it is international yeah. everywhere. It is the Church of Pentecost in a particular environment, mm. in a particular location. Mm. And it takes on the culture of exactly. that environment. Exactly. You know, and exactly. the gospel penetrates that culture. And then uh, it transforms it. And then where it needs no transforming, then the gospel will take on that culture. Mm -hmm. You know, like we saw in the videos that, yes. that you've been showing yes. uh, this whole week. Yes. Yeah, it's showing. Yes, you see yes. The, the Messiah people. Yeah, the and, Messiah um, people. And ladies and gentlemen, I am, I am a Messiah this evening. <laughs> and I want to thank the people of Kenya, especially Apostle and Mrs. Fiankulabi. In fact, they call them... Uh, 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 Bishop and Mama Bishop. Yes. 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 When they go to Kenya, they are bishops. bishops. When yeah. they come to Ghana, uh, uh, all our past <laughs> national heads of Kenya have been bishops. <laughs> yeah. And Krabedu, <laughs> uh, Beko, all of them are apostles. <laughs> they have all been bishops. <laughs> Papa Bishop and Mama Bishop. Thank you for this outfit. So yes. I am repping the people of Masai. I love the people. Oh, they are absolutely. wonderful. They are wonderful. Uh, you, people. You, you, you mm. cannot but love them. Yes, they are wonderful <laughs> people. Yeah. I want to see whether we can get a missionary online. Um, Kovna, can we get Liberia? Okay, so let's go to Liberia and listen to what our missionary has for us. Hello, Liberia. 
pastor Zulu. Hallelujah, Daddy. Welcome to Pen TV. Uh, this is Missions Night. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes. So we want to hear. Give us some praise reports. What is God doing in Liberia? It is a joy to have this privilege of being part of the Missions Night. And let me thank and appreciate our great fathers for the wisdom, the vision, and the commitment in making sure that the work of mission is always on the highest agenda of the Church of Pentecost. And let me thank everyone of our brethren, especially in Ghana, for your continuous support, your prayers, and the heart you have, even though you have not traveled to many of these countries mm. where the Church of Pentecost is now moving on gradually, but your support, your prayers have reached us and is doing great and marvelous things. Mm. And that is why we pray that the Lord will bless you and bless the nation of Ghana. Yes, so as a word of testimony, God is doing wonderful things great things. Holy Spirit is on the move. There's revival in the Church of Pentecost, Liberia by the grace of God. But specifically we have two testimonies Okay. that during our November 2022 aggressive evangelism the church went out in Rabosport City to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And as a result of that there was a man by the name of Arthur who was an occultist who deal with charms. Charms that he was using to destroy the life and then destroy the destiny of people. But by the grace of God, Hallelujah. through the preaching of the gospel, this man, Andrew, heard the word of God. He came under conviction and he surrendered his life to the Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. accepting him as his Lord and personal Savior, Hallelujah. and thereby turning over to the law and to the church. His chance, and the church pray for him, wow. earn the chance, and wow. this man was baptized in water. And as we speak, he's a strong, active member of the Church of Pentecost. Wow. Here, ministering, and his life is never the same. So that is a glorious testimony. Wow. And then also in Bikana, in Bikana, the church also went out, ministered the word of God. You know, Paul says in Romans 1.16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation to all men, to the Jews first, and then to the Gentiles. So the power of the gospel is continuously working. In that crusade, in Bikana, two young ladies happened to be crusades who were suffering from the spirit of epilepsy, you know, for many years. But by the grace of God, through the gospel message, they once again surrounded it. After Christ, they were prayed for, and instantly, they were healed, they were delivered from that terrible spirit, and they were also baptized in water, and they are now serving the Lord happily in the church of Pentecost. So there are many, many, many tests, you know, of what God is doing in his church, but because of time. So we just want to say thanks to all of our fathers, our mothers, our brothers and sisters in Ghana, and our the nations who are lovers, who are friends of me. Your support, your prayers have never been in vain. And we pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and prosper Amen. you. Even as we continue to celebrate Missions Week tomorrow, in the last day, we want to encourage everyone to give you your support. You know, you pray for missions and missionaries and give you your support. We know that the Lord, through you, will continue to move the work of missions to the next level. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity. 
Thank you too. Thank you. God bless you so much for sharing that praise report with us. The Lord bless you, Apostle Masaboy Zu of Liberia. He's the national head of the Church of Pentecost in Liberia. Thank you so much, Daddy. Wow. Wow. Occultists handing over their terms and all of that to the Lord. Um, that's, that's bigger than building a mansion for the church there. That's big. One, this, 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 this is a, not a mere sinner. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's fun. It's fun. What should I call him? He's not just one sinner that goes there, though. Because with what he was doing, I'm sure he was just, like Apostle was saying, he was destroying the lives of other people. Yeah. That's what your money has done. Yeah. That's how we should look at this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That 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 um, thousand CDs you put in there. Yeah. These are the things that it's yeah. doing. Yeah. Is that not how we should look at this? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, that is how we should look at it. Exactly. And um, so and, and and let it encourage us Hallelujah. to do to do more. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, be encouraged, be encouraged. We have also been joined by um, two young men, actually, from the Ghanaians. But these young men were sent by the church, Pensa International, to be specific. They went to Indonesia, and what God did through them, I'll talk to you about it, but wait. Let's go to um, Madagascar. Hello, Madagascar. <laughs> Hello, Mama Jenna. Hello, it's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, share your praise reports with us. Yeah, thank you very much for giving us opportunity to share we knew what God is doing in Madagascar. Hallelujah. We thank the leadership of the Church of Pentecost for uh, the great support they have been supporting uh, Church of Pentecost Madagascar. Uh, since Apostle Jesse Ado is there, I want to take this opportunity to thank him very much for uh, during his time he helped the Church of Pentecost Madagascar to get a national headquarters. And it's helping us so much in training leaders and expanding the kingdom business in Madagascar. Your Papa, God bless you so much. As Apostle Jesiado said, in Madagascar, only my wife and I are uh, uh, Ghanaians. All the members, about 6,000 members, are indigenous, wow. purely Malagasy. And we are doing members? the church. Okay. Um, what did you just say, Madagascar? How many members do you have? Now, currently, we are over 6,000. 6,000? Yes. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Yes. 6,000. Yes. Wow. So, in, in about five months ago, in October last year, God led us to the southern province of Madagascar, uh, which is the largest province in Madagascar. Oh, wow. And by the grace of God, we were able to plant 36 churches. Wow. Uh, we won and uh, retained about three, over 3,000 convicts who are now a members of the Church of Pentecost in that province. Wow. And Wow. Well, please, uh, you, uh, you're going too fast. Um, <laughs> what you're saying is too sweet. You have to take your time. Let's, <laughs> let's take it in gradually. Okay, so you're saying that last year alone, yes, you October, went into a province. Yes. And at the end of the... The southern province of Madagascar. Okay. And at the end of and, your missionary work there, you had... Yeah about 3,000 souls? Yes, 3, 000, over 3,000 souls. Oh, more than 3,000 souls? Yes, more than 3,000. How, how did that happen? What did you do? 
Uh, it's just the grace of God. I know, but I mean, give us some Even details. It's beyond our imagination. Yes. 3,000. Was it a crusade or, 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 or how, how did that happen? Yes, from community to community. From community to community? Yes. And all the 3,000 are in the church? All the 3,000 members are in the church? Yes, we have planted 36 uh, local assemblies. 36? 36. Just last year? Yes, please. Oh, it's too good to be true. And one uh, wonder that God did was that out of this 36, 34 uh, donated land, the convent, the new convent, they have donated land for us to build churches. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. This is why we're doing this, so that we would hear and be able to thank God, so that we can even give more. Because, I mean, yeah. Apostle Jesse Adu is talking to us about, he's telling us that the, the, the missions board built a four-story? Yeah, four-story headquarters. Four-story headquarters for Madagascar. Yeah. All coming from the missions, offerings that yeah. you do. You are doing amazing things with everything you give. I thank God for wonderful leaders. Everything we give is going... Also, for... Hello? Hello, Mama Gina. You're making me too excited, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God. Wow. Yeah. Pastor George Ophobi, yes. It, yes, by the grace of God, um, 20 Futani chiefs gave their life to Christ and they are now part of the church. 20? In Madag Futani chiefs. Okay. In Madagascar, when you say Futani chiefs, uh -huh. there's a political uh, position. Really? They are the leaders who take care of a community. So wow. every community have a fraternity chief. Is it like an As assemblyman? Is it like an assemblyman or something? Yes, an assemblyman. Oh, wow. So wow. they play the role of uh, the assemblyman and the traditional chief as in Ghana. Wow. But here you don't have the traditional chiefs. So they uh, lead the community. Okay. So 20 of them uh, gave their life to Christ and they are now part of our church. Wow. Wow. Also, yeah, so this is what God is doing in it's, Madagascar. It's amazing. It's mm. amazing. It's just too good to be true. And these people are already giving. You know, they, got, they just got saved and they, they started giving. Giving lands, yes. lands to the church. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. God bless you um, so much. Praise Amen. reports from Madagascar. Amazing things. You know, as he talked about the people giving lands, I just remembered a story that also came from Indonesia. So now we have the Pensa International Missionaries. Two young men. <laughs> hey, Elder Joseph Ba. Dickin, brown chair sofa. Dickin, you make a hair down. So I did. I just sofa. You you are a missionary, okay? And then, okay, so now elder. Elder. Elder sir. Sumia ya. Sumia ya. Yes. The Lord bless the two of you. Amen. And so these two young men went to Indonesia, and just like Pastor just talked about from Madagascar, you also have a story of somebody giving us a land. Just talk to us about that before we even start this whole uh, missions trip to Indonesia. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, our land issue. Yes. I think we got a call from um, Indonesia. Um, they stay on uh, islands. Okay. So you have to move from one island to another island. So we were in Kupan, okay. and doing the work of God there, people were streaming it. Uh, it was all over f uh, Facebook, Amazing. social media. Amazing. So someone got in touch with us to yeah. come to Rote. That's one of uh, the islands. Okay. And 
on our way going, we had to cross uh, uh, the sea for about five hours. So on our way going, we called the man. We, we had a conversation with the man that we are on our way coming. But we got to Rote, and this same man was dead. The man that you were talking to on your way to yes. Rote died. How many hours? About five hours, hours on the sea. Five hours? On five the sea. Five hour journey? Yeah, five hour on journey the on the sea. sea. Yeah. Yes. And the one you were talking to, yes. by the time you got to where he was, he, he was, was dead. dead. Yes. <laughs> it okay. was so strange. Very. It was so very. strange. <laughs> so we actually, <laughs> in a way, we performed <laughs> the duty of our pastors. So we had to pray for... Um, the barrier and all other things. Barrier service. First time ever. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. And this man, this man just saw us on Facebook. Okay. They just saw us on social media. Okay. But before he died, mm. he, he gave the church a land. This is, this is. So he told oh, the family, good. he told the family there are some missionaries coming. When they come, mm. we are going to give them this portion of land. Mm. And uh, some way, somehow, mm. he died. Mm. Uh, it, so, was, it was sad, but um, we, were, we were okay. We were okay. Since that, we cannot the, explain. <laughs> I yes, see it, that you're still, after how many months, you're still confused. Yes. But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Yes. None of us. He actually prepared a room where we are going to stay in the house, mm. everything. Mm. And so by the we, time you got there, he was dead. He was dead. He was but on, before on, he died, he, he had told the people, the family, the that family. they are going to give the church a land. And I think um, Joe should have the video. Oh, we're showing the video to, yes. to, to the viewers. They gave, they gave us a land. This is what God is doing. Yes. This is what God is doing. And that's the family and that, members. Yes, and the grandson. The that's grandson. The, grandson. the one in black, kind of. The one was so bad, sir. And he, 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 um, he in contact. Oh, he's leading us in. Yeah. Wow. For us. Sure. And they're showing you the land yes. that they have given so, to the Church so of Pentecost. So from, from about... Um, How big pool, is it? Me, no, no. Yeah? The other end of the pool. Okay. Do you yes. have any idea how big the land is in terms of, say... Um, acres or something. Yeah, the way he's showing, maybe about two acres or so. That's one. So you have to walk around a chance. Because we had to walk, then echo the other end. No? But what actually amazed me was that, that the name of the town was called so, Kion. Meaning? As in Makion. Kion. Yes. Oh. Really? Yes. Oh, God. We can't understand these things. Kion. God is just... Yeah. And that's how it's spelled? Yes, yeah, Kion, Kion. As in Makion. K-E-O-W-N. K-E-O-W-N. Wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. This is what God is doing. This is what God is doing. Daddy, uh, are you... It's like, I wonder you are surprised or what? Yeah. No, I'm not surprised. You've seen... These things. Yeah, these things. It's amazing. When Jesus talked about oh. the Great Commission, oh. uh -huh, and he said, These signs shall follow you. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. It's not only the laying on of hands exactly. and things. Because when you read the end of Mark, the Bible said that, you know, they, they went everywhere preaching, mm -hmm. and God was with them. But the Lord mm. was with them, mm. confirming his word mm. with signs mm. and wonders mm. that followed. So, this signs is, and uh, wonders are natural mm, phenomena mm, when it comes to preaching the gospel. Mm, once you take the steps, the thing. it follows. Once you take the step, it follows it, naturally. It naturally. It follows. Yes, naturally supernatural. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> this is naturally supernatural. Yeah. Now, you're going to tell us. Okay, so if you thought that we had a church in Indonesia and the church... Um, hosted these young men, you're wrong. We have no church there. No church. We have no body there. We have nothing there. And then... And then we received... Uh, no, let's start now. Let's, let's go back and ask that from the beginning. So you were sent by Pensa uh, International. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay. So I will start by saying uh, thanks yeah. to our fathers. Yes. And our Pensa International uh, Coordinator. Yes. For giving us the opportunity to go and represent um, Pensa International in the church in the land of Indonesia. Mm. So actually, personally, that, that call was a big blow to me. Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't understand why I was you even called. called. Ah. That alone was another thing I, would be, I was thinking about. Mm. Because I think I, I made mention to a coordinator, I've lost a lot of jobs because of my missions. Mm. And I'll get a new job, and I have to leave it and go for missions again. Mm -hmm. I, I was very confused. But then I spoke with you. It was so also in the same you state. At the time you were called? Yes. And you had to leave the work and go? Yes. Whoa. Whoa wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so you, <laughs> you were working. Yes. And then you received a call that uh, the church wants to send you to Indonesia. And you went to resign or something? And how did yeah, you? Yeah, I resigned. You resigned? Young man. The Lord will bless you. <laughs> and all your descendants. Yes. You resigned. There are still people with this hat, you know. Yeah. You resigned from work to go and do missions. Yeah. Elder, elder. We are dicking. And you still went. Okay, he was confused. He understand why he was called. Were you confused too, or you? Just... Oh, actually, I was not confused because um, I was heading the uh, project we ran for Pensa International, the IREC project, okay. which we we got sourced from Indonesia. Wow. So since I was the one heading it, mm. uh, we had a, we had an aim that. We will get a soul there, and through that soul, we will enter the nation. That's so it. for me, I was ready for anything. Wow. Just get the soul, and the Father sending us. Wow. We were ready. Wow. <laughs> you were ready. He said it's, it's, it was the I Week program. You know, yes. The I Week program. The I Week program. Yes. I Week means I, I will, will go. go. Yes. So, so when you say you will go, <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't say no. You can't say you, no you without, know, without you, any excuse. Yeah. Yeah. You don't say no to somebody you call yeah. Lord. Yeah. No. Yeah. So we have we have one slogan that says um, no excuse. No, no excuse. excuse. Yeah. So we, don't, we don't give we don't give room for excuses. So when you are called, the I yes, I will program. Answer. We just go. Wow. Yeah. Well, we thank the leadership for Pensa International. Yes. And then when you went, things started happening. What are some of the high points of your work in Indonesia? Okay. So tomorrow. <laughs> The, the, you're, going to, you're going to hear some of the things that happened. So, so, so Mama and Kain Nunchiro, we'll see it in the missions. But talk to us about other things. Yeah. Yes, the so, the so, land issue is not in the documentary, <laughs> so it's okay. All right. Yes. So we, we mm -hmm. ran the IREC project and uh, we got a so mm -hmm. in Indonesia. But before we planned going to Indonesia, this souls some way, somehow, got missing. Oh. Yes. And uh, by the grace of God, God actually has Indonesia in mind. Mm. I believe it, mm. that God had Indonesia in mind. Yeah. Because <coughs> some way, somehow, there was a lady who is also from Indonesia who was with the Hong Kong church, mm. in the Church of Pentecost in Hong Kong, with mm. uh, Pastor Enoch Ajawi. Yeah. Yes. And um, he, they got to know, I mean, they, they had an interaction at the, at the RCC level. RCC level, yes. I don't know, our father's level, um, where he connected us to the lady mm. um, who was from Indonesia and had been to Hong Kong for some few years and returned back to um, Indonesia. Wow. So we were going to Indonesia. We just know a name, mm -hmm. Teresa. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Whether she's alive, whether... She is even ready to receive us. Yeah. Whether she is going to help us with the work, we we didn't know. All that we we knew was all we knew was uh, that we are going to meet someone. God said, "Go, go." And said, we were going I will. to Indonesia, confused. Actually, we were very confused. Oh. We were we were scared wow. because we read <laughs> things <laughs> about, about the in the, Indonesia yeah. and. Um, landslides, um, them being Muslim, about 95% per of mm. the population um, being Muslims. Mm. Actually, Indonesia is the largest, the largest Muslim nation, Muslim in, nation the in the world. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So That's we were, yeah. we were very scared. Yes. Very confused. So, so, <laughs> yes, by God's grace. Oh, um, 
<laughs> We're going to receive praise reports from, from Canada. But you don't have to worry even if you don't get a job. You're already <laughs> Okay, sir. So, um, let's, let's receive a praise report from Canada. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, we thank God for what he's doing. And uh, I will take this opportunity to thank our, the leadership. Uh, our able chairman, Apostle Eric Namitye, General Secretary, Apostle Kumila B, and International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Ajima the Queen. And uh, I'll also take this opportunity to thank our father, uh, immediate past IMD, Apostle Jesse Adam. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Yeah. The, 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 the Church of Pentecost, Canada, which started about 30 years ago, have achieved great height. But the Lord of the church who has a covenant with his church has recently brought a revival, great revival to his church once again. Once again. We are, we are witnessing a great sign of revival in the church, most especially among the youth. Uh, there is a high level of excitement among the youth in the church in the past few years, in the past few years. And this is evident by the involvement of the youth in various activities in the church, especially in the area, area of evangelism, area of evangelism. Uh, uh, into the world we go, the internal missions together with the National Evangelism Ministry, the pastorate, and all other ministries are working hard towards planting of new churches. The church in Canada has taken Mark 1, 38. Let us go on to the next town that I may preach there also. For that is why I came as an anchor message of the internal missions project. And that through the internal mission project and the pastorate hard working ministers in Canada, about 10 churches have been open, uh, planted in the last 15 months. 10 churches have been planted in the last 15 months. It is not easy to plant church in the diaspora, but God has given the church grace mm. that we are able to break grounds. Mm. The church is now present in all the 10 provinces. We have 10 provinces in Canada, and the church is now present in all the 10 provinces in Canada. And so, working hard to reach the remaining three, we have 10 provinces and three territories. That is a uh, uh, Yukon, uh, Nunavut, and uh, Northern Territories. And this is, this is the area we are working hard to reach. And we have the uh, natives or the First Nation. Uh, the natives or the First Nation, which we sometimes refer to as Aboriginals, is the next community the church in Canada is working hard to reach. The church in Canada is working hard to reach. The First Nation people have their reserves in the and around all the provinces and constantly reminded and encouraged to reach out to the various First Nations community close to their areas of residence. They, they've spread throughout Canada, throughout Canada. And uh, we, are, we are working... We are, we are working hard to reach them, reach their residents, reach them. And uh, within about four or five months ago, uh, about, uh, they, they have churches in, their, in the interlands, and they, 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 they consulted us in, in our, some of the area heads so that we will come and work collaboration with, with them so that they will join the Church of Pentecost. And it's a great miracle for us to have the natives of the land Canada, the natives 
of the wow. land Canada. Wow. wow. The, Church of Pen the Church of Pentecost Canada sent missionary also to Cuba last year, and the church has since been given a, a great support to the missionary in Canada. And okay. the church in Canada has also uh, broken grounds in this St. Lucia and St. Vincent, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the uh, Grenadines Islands. The church okay. is currently working on getting place of worship, work, uh, uh, place of worship. Uh, hello, this... Daddy. Hello. Praise the Lord, Daddy. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Yes. So what you're saying is that you're getting more natives joining the church now and more young people joining the church now yeah more people young people are in the church and they are some are joining the church but the natives mm -hmm. uh they, they now want to register their presence in the church okay. and and uh, join their church to the church of Pentecost because of what the lord is doing in our church okay what do you think is bringing them um you're saying because of what is god is doing give us some specifics yeah, they've been visiting our church, especially uh, a place in the Saskatoon. That is where uh, the number of them are. And uh, they, they join our church and they see our worship, how the Spirit of God manifests itself in our church. I think some, they, they've joined other groups for quite a long time and uh, it did not help them to grow. I think they, they, they join them and deceive them and 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 did promise them uh, so much in many ways okay. and they were unable to fulfill it okay but since they they tried to join uh, and visit our churches in saskatoon uh, province uh, they, they sense the presence of the holy spirit wow. and the different dynamism the move of god wow. and they, sometimes they would they would drive three hours to join our church in Saskatoon wow. and fellowship with our church wow. before they go back and worship in their church. And I, this is a great miracle for what the Lord is doing in this nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, mm. hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Apostle Ransford, I mean, the Lord bless you so, so much. Amen. It looks like some doors are opening, Apostle. Some, some doors that were closed are uh, opening and um, for some reason like apostle is saying many more i, I think in africa when we talk about the church uh, the indigenous people coming into the church it was not a strange thing in africa but uh, the western world it was not that easy, easy yeah. but here we are that's why he's saying it's a miracle what is a miracle in one country? It's a normal, it, it's in, a normal in another. another yeah. But for them, for the natives of uh, 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 the country, Canada, driving, like he's saying, three hours to come to church, they, they, they must be receiving and experiencing something. Yeah. 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 For, for them to come. Yeah. So something is happening. And when, when um, I look at how God is also using what we are calling the city church to open up the western world well, what, what do you think is, is is that exciting for you as well yeah you see that is that is what um the apostle paul said that mm. um they, there are many doors that are open but there are so many hindrances oh. and so pray that's it. you see so that's what prayer can do that's it, oh. and so when we lift up prayer and intensify prayer mm. and that is why things like um you know the chairman's prayer time on tuesdays mm. the, the many prayer meetings we are having across the nations mm. Mm. Th this is this is what the it results. can do. this is the result <laughs> you see Hallelujah. People sometimes, especially the, the word radical, as when we talk about prayer and say we are praying, especially in Africa, they say we pray too much. 
there, there is nothing like. <laughs> and sometimes when things prayer. happen, they say it's a coincidence. I said, okay, then let's pray more. So, that so there will be, be more coincidences. coincidences. <laughs> you know. Exactly. So yeah. Wow. You know. So so this is this is what happens yeah. when the people pray. When the people pray. When, when the people we pray. When the churches pray. These are the special for missions. God yes. just open doors. Mm. Sometimes the doors are open, but there are still some hindrances. Mm. Sometimes there are political hindrances, wow. there are immigration um, hindrances, and the, uh, cultural yeah. hindrances, and all that. But God breaks these barriers down in pray. answer to prayer. Wow. And so we should continue to wow. pray. Yeah. And, and Indonesia uh, uh, missionaries, you, you understand what prayer can do. Yeah. Tell us. Because you were saying that this, you were in your room. They got to the country and they were in their room. Yeah. What, do we, what can you do but yeah. to pray? And then you were praying. Mm -hmm. So we were praying, mm -hmm. and then our, our, our contact, Teresa, yes. she called us that um, there is this family. They want us to go and visit and, and fellowship with them. And they've done their background checks, and mm -hmm. they believe in Christ, so we can go without any problems. So they even talk, before you go and witness to somebody, you have to do background check. Yeah, oh, yeah. because <laughs> the, the people actually in their own way, mm -hmm. before I even go there, in their own way, they have a way of testing to know whether you are Christian or not. Because it's an, it's an Islamic um, dominated okay. place. Okay. They give you pork. If you go to every home, uh -huh. they want you to eat. Okay. So we were fasting. Mm. And, and we were rejecting the food. So we were hints that, hey, when we do that, we are, we are trying to send a signal. Mm. Because the Muslims can disguise themselves as preachers. Mm. And they will come to your home. And when you accept them, they will come and attack you. So what we are doing, we are rather sending a bad signal. Ooh. When you don't so, eat, they think it is the pork that you don't like. Yes. Or you don't eat pork. Yes. Because Muslims don't eat pork. Because Muslims yeah. don't eat pork. Yeah. Yeah. So, so wow. we, we, we had to compromise on that. So if you reject it, it means you are a Muslim so, in disguise. Okay, Come in. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're fasting. <laughs> you, have, you have to answer this. Yeah, but why, why are you fasting? Yeah. You are fasting for a breakthrough yes. to reach people. Yes. And now you are going to reach the people. Yes. And they say, eat pork. Yes. So, <laughs> so we yeah. so ate. So you oh, see it as open door. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. we, we, you are not we, just fasting for fasting's sake. You are fasting for a result. Yes. <laughs> so af after the eating and sharing fellowship, mm. then we prayed for the woman. Mm. Mm. And that was how mm. God in his own wisdom mm. started the work. And it was amazing. Mm. A country with over 22 million people. Yeah. If someone can meet you randomly yeah. and tell that I have seen you on Facebook. 122, actually. 122. It's 122. 122. Yeah. 122 million. Yeah. 122 million. 122 yes. million. And then and people meet someone you can see you randomly and, and say that I, I have seen you on Facebook. For Pray for my even son. Even recognize mm. that yes. it was you. Cra. So with that encounter, they saw us, <laughs> and the the lady had to go on Facebook again to cross check well, that was and bring out the video. But she saw us, and the confidence <laughs> she came with that you are the guys. Are the guys. I know you are the guys. Mm. So let me check. Then she checked on the phone. Then she showed it to us that yes, you are these guys. So this is my daughter. Pray for her. Did you even know that you were all over the place like that? No. No. You didn't know? We didn't know. That you were we had on, no on idea. Facebook. All the way on Facebook. And, yeah. Because we were scared because yeah. of how the place was. So sometimes when we go to some places, we will, we will tell them not to record or oh. stream it yeah. for immigration issues. Mm. Because we were there on the ticket of uh, tourists. Yeah. I mean, we, we, are, we are tourism, Because so. he, he's, he is an IT person, I'm a photographer, so that made it more simple for us to actually go mm. there. Because mm. Indonesia also has a very large um, place for tourism, mm. especially Bali, mm. being a mm. tourist mm. destination. Mm. So a photographer going there, it's not a problem. But that's also another miracle, because though yeah. you were all over Facebook, sure. it still didn't put you in trouble. No, not at all. God still protected you. God was with us. Oh, thank you. God, God was with yeah. us. And, and so by the time you were leaving Indonesia, you had how many people? You had started a church yes. in Indonesia. This is amazing. How easy is it for one to go to any of these Asian countries and just start a church? 
Well, it depends. Mm. It depends. Especially in a place where you have majority. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's predominantly. Mm. Um, as I speak to you now, uh, yesterday, uh, the IMD, <coughs> the IMD Apostle Mabekwe was um, with us yesterday at uh, PIWC Atomic. Mm. And um, he, he, he first whispered into my ear something that has happened somewhere. And then when he took over to minister, he mentioned a prayer topic for all of us to pray about. Mm. And it's about one of the, uh, the countries in Africa, which is also highly mm. Islamized. Mm. I mean, an, an Islamic country. Mm. Our missionary there has been, is behind bars. Not just behind, he's in prison. Has been in prison for over a year now. As I speak, he's still in prison. Yes, and he's somebody I know. I mean, we, we, we sent him out to, a few years ago. Um, so what they are talking about um, is not easy. They catch you. Oh, yes. And that is why sometimes some of these things, we don't even talk about these things publicly, especially strategy and all that. We don't. Uh, so... Um, even this, we have to be a bit careful the way the media, the way we project some of these things, yes. Uh, so, um, it's not easy. It's not easy, uh, especially if it is um, the faith there is not Christian and um, they are very antagonistic to the gospel. It can land you into trouble, yes. But, um, you know, God also makes way. Yes. For us, yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, they have gone yes. and come back. Yes, <laughs> so, and, and after what you, I think after with the what experience, Daddy, with what Daddy said, mm -hmm. I think we also had an encounter with the immigration officer. You did, yes. Well, so, so, so <laughs> when 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 we went there, he was like, okay, then we should prove. If we are not missionaries, we should prove it our, our social media handles. They want to see. have a proof, see. so oh, they have to see our yeah. social media pages. Yeah. To see the contents where we've post, traveled to, yeah. where we've traveled to yeah. places we've been, what mm -hmm. are we doing? Mm -hmm. So they had to ask I, us to open I our Facebook. So I have a photography page, so I had to open that for him. Ooh. And then he was like, okay, so a photographer, okay. So that was what actually helped us. That particular page. It's okay, then let's go to TikTok. Do you have TikTok? What do you do there? Let me see. Facebook, no, or you enough, man. No, no. They, they, they are so social media oriented, and they wanted to see our makeup. Are we really, we really are. who we say we are? Mm. And it's something... But with what God has done with you, you've gone into this country, breaking ground, starting a church with now how many people? Almost 100 members. Yes, yes almost. Already. Yeah. You actually started a church in, in, in Indonesia. Are you scared? <laughs> No, I will say my faith Not has been increased. Uh, <laughs> my faith has been increased. Are you scared of prison? No. You don't want to be like Paul. No, no, no. See, at, yeah, a, at, at a point, mm -hmm. at a point we were scared. Yeah. But at a point our confidence grew. Hallelujah. Because at the early stage we were scared. Mm. And we were even asking the people to stop recording us. And but then at, the same at a recording. point, you realize that it was that same means God is using to reach out to the people. Because every day, you receive a call of prayer. And I can say our work there was basically prayer. Every day, you receive a call of prayer. Come and pray for me. So we even had a slogan, tell them we are coming. Wow. Tell them we, tell are, them coming. we are coming. <laughs> they will call us and uh, wow. we, will, we, will, we will respond, tell them we are so, coming. Wow. So and we it, will go... God will do his own thing. Wow. And the people were getting healed. Yes. Yeah. Wow. 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 Some instant healings, some it will take time. Wow. We actually experience all the different kinds of, of miracles. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's yes. out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is out there. It's Especially yeah. in missions, mm. in evangelism. Wow. As I said, it's when, when you were in Ghana, were you Experiencing these things, were you praying for people to get healed and all of that? <laughs> yeah, I was saying in Ghana, the, the only place I, I could confidently say I had that experience was in the Volta region. Okay. 
when we went that for missions. Mission. That is also a <laughs> mission. That is also a mission. It's still a mission. Yeah. yeah. For me, I've been to, uh, I was in India. Okay. So uh, for the Asian experience, mm. I, I had the Asian experience from India mm. uh, when I went to do my master's. Okay. And by the grace of God, we started the PENSA in India. Mm. And uh, with the help of Apostoraj, um, a lot of things happened. Um, so that, that confidence was there. Mm. <laughs> wow. Let's take another praise report from one of the countries. Okay. All right. So, Abozo, looking at all these stories that um, are coming in, what do you think God can do when we look into the future? If we would put in more, if we would send more money, resources, people, missionaries, when you look into the future, what do you see God doing? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see God doing exciting things. Hmm. Exciting things. Um, exciting things in terms of uh, opening doors, yeah. doing things that mm. defy human understanding, mm. healings, mm. Um, unexpected signs. Mm. People who hitherto had closed their minds and hearts to the gospel. Mm. God will be opening mm. their hearts. Mm. Um, and so, you see, what is important is that we yeah. do what we are called upon to do. Yes, yes. Prayer, part. financing, mm -hmm. sending, mm. these things. Mm. If you will keep doing, mm. Mm, mm. if you continue praying, if you continue um, sending out, if you continue supporting the work, financially and logistically, mm. God will do what he wants to do. Yeah. And what does God want to do? He wants to save the whole world. Mm. Mm. Uh, the reason why I believe Jesus has tarried, because he doesn't want his blood to be in vain. Mm. He suffered. Ah. He suffered to purchase this salvation for us. You know, and so he is not, he is not interested or he's not satisfied were just a few people getting saved. Mm. He wants the whole world mm. to be saved, mm. even the most difficult of places. Mm. And as we continue to pray, as we continue to wait upon him, as we continue to, to give, mm. as we continue to send men and women out, mm. God will do what he has promised to do. Do you think that God would do in these other countries what he has done in Ghana with the Church of Pentecost. We're talking about now we are more than three million people. Ah, would God do the same in these other countries for the Church of Pentecost to grow in Indonesia, in China, in India, in Kenya, Tanzania, in America? <coughs> if, we keep, if we keep doing what God has called us to do as COP. Mm -hmm. God will do more mm. there than He has done with Ghana. Hallelujah. Because yeah. I mean, proportionally, exactly. if 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 Church of Pentecost, I mean, if Ghana has 30 million mm. population mm. and Indonesia has 122, ah. <laughs> what what percentage of 122 mm. is 3 million? Mm. I mean, compared to Ghana, yeah. you know, exactly. so Ghana will be about 10 percent. Exactly. Indonesia, three million will be just about, but about less than five percent, you know. So I mean, that's why I'm saying that the onus lies on us. Let's do what we are called to do. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to give. Let's continue to talk about missions. Let's continue to encourage our missionaries. Let's continue to send. Let's continue to empower the church, the missions board, the missions office, the IMD, encourage him and his team to continue to send out mm. people. Yeah. And God will do more than he has done with Ghana. Exactly. Yeah. Like these young men. Yes. Do you think it's about 
these people in particular or whoever we send, God is going to do with them what he's done with his... It is not person specific. Yeah. It is not. Yeah. Yes. It is not. It is, it is everyone whose heart is willing mm. to go. Mm. You know, and in Ghana, by the grace of God, we have so many people in the Church of Pentecost now who, who, who are willing. And I mean, these, yeah, 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 the yeah. testimonies we are hearing, somebody yes. had to resign and all yes. that. I mean, somebody whose heart is oh. willing. A big sacrifice. Big one. But it, it, if it has not been rewarded already, then it will be rewarded. Of course. You know, that sacrifice will definitely be the rewarded. The results so, alone, yeah. it's rewarded. Uh, absolutely. Seeing <clears throat> that God used it. To <clears throat> absolutely. Mm. When you go out and you see results, mm. I mean, you forget about all the, the sacrifices you have made. <laughs> because, and I believe that is what Christ himself, mm. you know, mm. That's why he said that he, 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 he despised the shame and looked, he looked for the joy that was set before him. He despised the shame and the, and the cross, you know. And so he's very happy with the results his blood has achieved. And though he suffered, uh, I don't know if he remembers, though he will remember. He, 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 will, he will remember, <laughs> I mean, the pain that he went through, but also the joy oh. that has resulted oh. as a result of his the sacrifice. Mm. You know, so it's the same thing. Yes. Every missionary that goes out mm -hmm. sacrifices something, mm. you know, and God is faithful to let you see the results. It sometimes may not be immediate. Yeah. The result may not be immediate. Yeah. Some people will go and come, another will go and come, maybe to the third or fourth generation before you see the result. There are some grounds like that, very hard, you know. But even if you don't see, yes, if you don't see the result in your lifetime, the next person, God will give us the result. And you will see it uh, maybe after you have retired or after, uh, you know. And sometimes to God give you instant signs. And results. Like what they experience. Yes, like what they experience. Yes, mom, be my mother. Ah, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Never the poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. all. No, no, no. You will go again. No matter how hard the place is, yes. no matter what you're leaving behind, we'll go. you will go again. We are ready. Well, maybe we are even planning of going. <laughs> so, in, the, in, the, in about some few weeks, um, the team will leave Ghana to three places. Okay. We are targeting three places. Okay. Don't mention but, the places yet. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. So, um, um, you don't really mind going on and on and on like this. You don't mind? No, not at all. something else. You're not married, are you? No. no. <laughs> that, that's why we want to go. <laughs> yes. You never the ball. You never the ball. Never the ball. See what God will do with you. How He's going to bless you. Eh? Time no sir. Eh? Because you're going to be so blessed sure. with this kind of heart. God is going to bless you. Yeah. Apostle, we've talked about what prayer can do. Emissions, breaking grounds, and opening doors. And let's let's uh, tell us a little about some of the things that prayer did during your your time, and then we we'll come and ask what money can also do. Yes, do you remember anything that any? Um, okay, there were so many, but let me yeah. just give you one. Give me one. Let me just give you one because that really mm -hmm. encouraged oh. my faith, okay. you know. And while I was IMD, mm. there's one particular country mm. <laughs> that we were struggling to send a missionary. Not that we didn't, we had, we had, we had the missionaries. Okay. But the visa to go. Mm. Because that place, if not, not, not even the visa, because it is, it is even a visa-free country for Ghana. But they are so averse to missionaries, Christian missionaries, mm. that 
they wouldn't hear of it. Like they were saying in Indonesia, that, that, that country is not, and it's not an Islamic country. <laughs> I don't want to mention the country, yeah. yes. But it is so hard because we are told that some missionaries from other countries, some specific countries had gone to misbehave, or some people who posed, I won't I would say missionary, but some people who posed as missionaries had gone there, started churches, and used it to exploit you know, the people, you know. So they are so hostile to missionaries. And then we had somebody there, an indigenous worker, who later on we wanted, you know, we even invited him to come to the Bible school because we saw that the work was not moving. You know, he came and went, but still. So I said, all right, we will send somebody there to go and support him. But he didn't like the idea of somebody going to support him. He wanted to be there alone, and still the work was not moving. Mm. You go there, and about maximum 10 people, 9 people, you know, that kind of thing. Mm. And so I was bent on sending somebody um, supported by the missions board. But you go there, and uh, they, will not give you, they will not even give you entry to go. Then the guy resigned. <laughs> Just out of the blue, he resigned. Really? And then he went and worked. He had worked at the immigration before. Mm. And so he went and saw his colleagues and blocked our path completely. Oh. Yes. That anybody who comes here, they should from Ghana, they should interview the person well. If he is like somebody coming from the Church of Pentecost or anything. Because he's a native. Yeah, he's a native. As I speak to you now, he's even an MP. <laughs> in that yeah, in that oh, country. Wow. He's an MP in that country now. And so, one time we sent somebody from another country to go there and visit the church because he had left the church and the small, the small group of people we had mm where, you know, this person. And so we sent somebody from around the region to go there. When he got to the airport, they seized his passport. Uh, but he went as a tourist. So they said, okay, you, you, you can go. But he was allowed into the country. So he, he went and lodged in the guest house. The next day, Sunday, he went to church. Monday, the immigration people were at the guest house where he was staying. Ah. And it was the Makino Missions Week like this. Oh. And we were in a missions board meeting. Oh. And so he called me that this is what happened. The immigration people have come. Um, they didn't give him his passport. Oh. Yeah, they assist his document. Oh. They asked him... The, where did you go yesterday? Yesterday being yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And he said, I went to church. They knew because they, they were following him. Yeah, yeah they and knew. The guy had... Yes, yes, yes. So they, they were following him. We went to church. It's, it's illegal to preach when you don't have a license to preach here. He said, he didn't, he didn't go to preach. He said, what did he go to do? He said, oh, he went to, he went to his church. His church members are here. Um, so he also joined them. And uh, at a point, uh, he advised them. Mm. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. <laughs> he advised, <laughs> he advised them. <laughs> he said, okay. The next day, come and see us at the immigration office. It means they were going to deport you. Mm. Uh, yeah, with that, they will spoil your passport. Mm. You can never mm. come back. And so he went. And so that was, when he was going, he called me. And so at, at the missions board meeting, uh, I told our then chairman, Apostle Professor, and then we prayed about it in the missions board meeting. Then, when he went to see them, uh, they were tossing him up and down, very angry. Then their boss, who was all along in his office somewhere, saw what was going on. They saw this man who is in front of his officers, and they were shouting on him, tossing him, and they were very hostile to him. So the boss came out and came to ask his, his, his guys, what has this guy done? Mm -hmm. 
what has this man done? What is the problem? And then our missionary spoke first. He said, well, I, I came on a visit. They have seized my passport and all my documents, my ticket, everything. And they, are not, uh, they don't want to give it to me. It's almost my turn to return. And they are not. Then he asked his people, what has he done to deserve this seizing his passport? Has, has he overstayed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they said no. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. Then I said, okay, give me his papers. So they gave him, they gave the boss their passport, his passport and the other documents. Then he went to his office and invited our missionary. And so, and apologized to him for what his people has done. And so if he wants his uh, days to be extended, he can do that for Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he's, he said, oh, no, he wants, he, he just, but the, the church wants to send a missionary here. If he can help, he said, I will help you. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, as I said, many things have happened to me, but mm. this particular one, mm. um, because it gave us a missionary status. It's not, wow. not just because we, we were able to send uh, that particular missionary or something, but it gave us a missionary status. Six. And the, 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 our missionary, so we had to send somebody immediately, send a particular, he called me, he said, Daddy, this is what has happened, though. And so... Uh, you say that we can send somebody. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we have to send the name of uh, somebody we want to send, and then, and then you know, uh, by the grace of God, we we succeeded in sending the missionary mm -hmm. on a missionary ticket, exactly. not a wow. tourist, ticket. not a tourist ticket anymore. And the missionary has even left. Uh, he spent about five or six years. We have sent him wow. to another place, and I sent another person to wow. replace him. Wow. So this is what prayer can this do. This is what prayer can this do. Prayer can so do. keep praying. Keep praying. In fact, when you, you, you should, I think all of us should have, a, should adopt at least one nation. Oh, yes. You know, yeah. everybody should adopt at least one nation that you pray for. The missionary there, the church there, and, and, and everything. Now, Indonesia missionaries, <laughs> tell us, um, how did you gather the people now? Uh, to start an assembly or a congregation, how, how did that happen? Okay, so we searched for a place. So we had one woman who had a hotel, wow. but then she has built another hotel and she wanted to sell off the old place. Okay. We went to see her and we discussed with her and then for her, she had she also had issues with her eyes. How did you get that woman? It was through, through our, our contact, our contact. Okay. Teresa and I one. Okay. So they went around and did the search and they brought us the information and went okay. to visit. When we got there, the woman had issues with her eyes. Okay. And the husband also had issues with her with his waist and legs. So we prayed for him. <laughs> and God's grace. <laughs> they also became very well. Oh wow. So they were See, excited those, uh, to host yeah. us. Conditions were points of miracles. Yeah, God sure. was just, yeah. oh yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> I think some people were just sick, waiting for us to come so that God would open a way. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So they became very excited and, and they gave us the place for service and we had to use that place for our service. Wow. So that was how come we had the place. Wow. And um, even at the, at the point um, at that church, we learned that other church wanted to buy that facility, okay. but they insisted that they want to sell that facility to us. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we had to call home. Um, I remember we called um, Pastor Enoch, hey. uh, Apostle uh, Kwafo had to come in through the uh, international missions director and all that. They wanted to sell it to only us. Oh God, you're too good. You wanted to sell the place to only us. Wow, already. Some yes. people even when you are my son is when you are Me, the two young missionaries, one. Yeah, one at a time. There was this particular church who had even wanted to pay more for rental Hallelujah. if it will not be sold to them. Yes, they want to pay more for rental, and it was a very known church that has been accepted in, in that, that country. space. Yeah. 
So for that church, at least for them, they have that momentum within the, the country. And they also wanted that same facility, but no one said no. But they rejected. No. Wow. They don't care the amounts they want to give them. They are setting up. They insist that. on giving it to yes. the Church of Pentecost. Yes, the Church of Pentecost. And that was where we, wow. we had our first service. Wow. Yeah. How many people do you have in your first service? Is it 87? What? 97. 97. 97. You can check from yeah, there. there. <laughs> your first service? Yes. After how many uh, months of being in the After church? about two, three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Hey! Then you're good Just like um, Look at our, that. our father in Canada yeah. shared. Yes, you mean like, this, what we are looking at is Indonesia? Yeah, Indonesia. This is and the that's, auditorium they gave us. All these, this is the auditorium they yes, gave you? Including yes. the sound and everything. This is yes. the auditorium. Very yes, big. They had that's sound. you sitting there. Yes. I mean, those who are doubting, <laughs> did you see him? So, Apostle Kwafu paid us a visit. Yes. And oh. this is the young man uh, whose grandfather gave us the land. The land. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. please, wherever you are, just, just, just thank God. Just thank God. Some of the eh? we visited schools. We visited schools. The we were, we were the Navy. everywhere. At the the Navy had a school, and, okay. and they also mm -hmm. gave us the opportunity mm -hmm. to come and speak to the Navy students. And how God did that was very strange. We were going to a place, mm -hmm. and then Pastor Enoch said he wants to drink something. Then we saw a coconut, coconut. cellar. Okay. So we just stopped by. <laughs> yeah, we just stopped by a coconut <laughs> cellar. That's yeah. on this one here. Among all the things, there, this one is very Coconut familiar. Day, yes. <laughs> we can drink this very well. So, right at that spot where we were trying to drink the coconut, I saw this woman seated. She was just looking at us. Uh -huh. so I asked her, Oh, I like the way she smiled. Okay. And I said, Okay. And she spoke very good English. Oh, okay. So I realized she is good with the English. Uh -huh. And first, when we spoke with her, she was a, a tutor in the Navy school. Wow. And she teaches English. So, wow. she even came and helped us with a translation. Yay. And, and her translation was very good because for her, that's what she has majored on. Wow. So it, hey. it, it became a plus. <laughs> oh, yeah. It became a plus to mm. the thing. So, yes, we were going to drink coconuts. We mm. met this woman. Whoa. Now she became part of us, translating for us on our Sunday services. Yeah. And then she also opened the way for us to go and speak to the students Whoa. and the Navy school Whoa. people. Oh, God had everything. Planned, wow. laid yeah, out. Yeah. Mm. Just needed us to be there at that particular time. So imagine if we didn't send them. Exactly. Imagine if mm. we didn't have the money exactly. to send them. Imagine exactly. if they didn't go. Yeah. All of these yeah. people, all of these miracles, wouldn't, all of this wouldn't happen. If I was God, say kami e nyamia, and the money is a plan we cannot have to go. And the people are not and going. I'm, I said that we do our part. So put yourself in the shoes of God. That's what I'm trying to do now. <laughs> that must hurt. We better it must hurt. Say, hey, how, Papa. It must hurt. It hurts. It hurts. Because it hurts. the results were set up. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. set. Mm. Especially, you no, know, they were telling us that there was this woman also who, there was, there was, they had told them, please, you, that one, you tell us, Kakara. This woman who had talked to the people that... The prophecy. Yes. Yes. Some people were coming to this country. Yeah, so we got there. We actually, it was a town, mm. kind of. So, Takari. Takari, that mm. was the name. We had a... We had, <laughs> we had fellowship with them. Mm. And uh, as usual, we have to eat pork. <laughs> uh, so what's eating? The man was like, no, this thing has happened. They were like, what then? He said, about two, three weeks ago, a woman came to the house to uh, inform them about something. And he believed that and that's the thing. And we asked. So um, that was how come he, he spoke about the prophecy where the woman was warning them two people. It mm. was specific. Two people were coming from a foreign nation. Mm. They are coming to do ministry. Mm. Um, when they come, mm. the ministry will, will, will seems to be small, mm. but it will grow and it will flourish. Um, they should not, they should accept us, mm. they should help us in any way. Mm. And I think from the Takari incident, we even had contact in uh, Timor Leste, mm. another nation mm. nearby uh, Indonesia. <laughs> 
to molest and also your country. And this is your country. Yeah. Hey, COP. So, <laughs> the this, Lord all, is doing amazing things. All through this, when we are preaching or when we are praying, mm. they record. That was how come someone in a different country yes. also saw it. And they were asking that we come there. Come to mm. that country too. Yes. yes. So, but by, by the grace of God, I for Timo Lester, you know, mm. past, through Pastor, um, Pastor Enoch, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, or mm. more as sponsor, um, you know, I'm mm -hmm. uh, about a month ago. Wow. They've been to Timo Lester. Uh, people, yes, they are, they are very, for them, they are very ready to go anywhere. <laughs> so, I, I, I asked him, how was the experience? And he was like, I'm ready to go. Wow. And I, <laughs> wow. I asked him again, where next? And said, for them, they are waiting for the command from head office. <laughs> so, just say go. Yes. And we are ready to they are, go. They are ready I, to I go. I thank God for the lives of these young people now. And, and, and it looks like all over the place, it's not just Ghana, but mm. as we went around a few African countries, we saw the young people, mm -hmm. huge numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to a church and you see that if you take out the young people, mm -hmm. in Kanipana, yeah, awesome. yeah. this so huge, Our amazing, church is very youthful now. And now, oh, you know, why? Because I'm thinking God chose COP to go to Indonesia to do this. And he had given them warning that when we come, yes. they should accept us. Of all the churches, he could have sent any church from any country. Yeah. But he chose COP Ghana here and sent us to Indonesia to to. to and like he said, if already we have a big land yeah. donated, it's not like yeah, it's a gift to mm, us. Yeah. Mm. Obi, ni 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 wo and some man say, we just yeah, you can as I saw on the wheel, move that. It's amazing that That's family amazing. members didn't keep quiet. Eh? No. That's another and, miracle. And yeah. Tell me, tell one, me. One, one surprising thing happened in the family house. You yeah. see, so after the, the man, <laughs> after the man had given us um, that will, because the family were around and gave them those information. Instructions. And they, the family took it in good heart. And we had to also do a small fellowship with the family. Mm. And in that small fellowship, mm -hmm. there was a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Wow. Yeah. That all the family members became confident in their hearts that this we are indeed from God. Hallelujah. And, 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 I could say it was one of the places I saw a massive outpouring in our works <laughs> in the land of Indonesia. How was it like? How was it like? <laughs> I, I, I can't explain. Please try. <laughs> like, it was mind blowing. Even two days ago, the grandson of the man mm. sent me a video oh. that they were doing Would an internal prayer anything? and there is another outpouring. outpouring. They pray in their home. Yes, yeah. that's other people please. in the community. The presence is still there. Other yes. people in the community came to join them about three days ago. He sent me the video. He sent me the video, the grandson. He was the one leading the fellowship there. And there was another and massive they were outpouring. So, happy. so they called us on video call and we were chatting and they were excited. What God is doing, you, you, you want to be part of this. You want to plug in. You, you, want, to, you want to give your all. If these young people are ready, to leave their jobs and everything any young person would care about to go out there. I'm sure there are many more young people who are ready to go and if we send them, what God is going to do? Tell us another miracle that happens anywhere, anywhere. Tell us anything, any wonderful thing that happened anywhere. Do you remember? Tell, tell us. No. Let me share that off. Yes. Let me share that off. Let me share that off of Roti. Okay. So, um, in in our return from Roti, okay. we met um, a man who was also an evangelist. Okay. And then he also asked us a question. After um, our encounter with a woman who said she has seen us on Facebook. Okay. And then he wanted to find out if indeed we are truly missionaries. 
like from what she, he was also a passenger going to board the the ship okay and he and he saw the incidents with us and the woman so he also came to inquire because he's also a missionary hey. and then yeah. you're having a conversation with a woman <laughs> yes. and another man yes uh, he was into the uh, yeah. the missions yeah. So he saw us praying, and you see, we are Pentecostals. So, we pray so at the point, we pray in tongues. <laughs> For the woman? Yes. In the open? Yes. In the open. Yes. Oh, no fear. Like, like I said, at a point, our confidence. Grew. So you were, you were not worried about yeah. arrest or. You knew God yeah. was with it, you. Yeah, it was evidential. Oh. From the, I can say, even the prophecy encouraged us. Exactly. At, at a point, I felt like, yeah, this thing is like. <laughs> My own story, some you no. Know, so wow. we're yeah. like sharing our words, like Charlie. Next day, you be serious. Wow. So that was when I just like, no, like I have to write things happening every day. Yeah. yeah because yeah. it was something that we could tell this is supernatural, mm. and 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 we happen to be those available for oh, that. Available. And, and it was great. So this man, man, this man actually yeah. came in, mm -hmm. and then when we 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 explained the Holy Spirit to him and the tongue speaking. Mm -hmm. The man became excited and this evangelist came to join our church mm -hmm. and he was even baptized by Apostle Kwafu. Yeah. When Apostle Kwafu came to visit us. Him mm -hmm. and the family, yeah. about three of them. He said, sir, they all came for the baptism. They were baptized. So uh, he and he's an evangelist. He's an evangelist. Yes. Yes. He was into the mission's work. An so, evangelist who was not baptized. Yes. Yeah. So I think that okay. the, the, the main, the main uh, issue was the uh, speaking yes. in tongues. He had an mm. issue with speaking in tongues. Yeah. Oh, you're not talking about water baptism. You're talking about the Holy Spirit. Both. Both. Yes. So an evangelist. Uh -huh. But both the two of you. Yeah. Yeah. There's no water yeah. baptism. <laughs> he had an issue with the uh, Holy Ghost baptism. So, the evidence of speaking in uh -huh. tongues. Speaking in tongues. So uh, he saw us speaking in tongues. Then he waited. He waited for us to finish with the lady. Oh, then he approached us. That no, did we learn that language? Oh. <laughs> because there in Indonesia, people learn. Really? Uh -huh. Yes. They teach them. So we had to use. Uh, he was actually quoting uh, First Corinthians 14, um, how we should understand. Bible says we should understand. So we have to take him through. The whole of first hey. Corinthians 14. Mm -hmm. Then after he was okay, convinced, oh. and, and excited. Wow. So <laughs> he took our contacts. Yeah. When we reached our destination, we dispersed. He drove back to yeah. our hotel. And that was where they got the Holy Ghost baptism. When we prayed, we arranged for. Wow. One of the surprises that my sister was, I feel like shock. I feel like shock. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Yeah, I feel like shock. And oh. I was surprised this um, grown up man, evangelist, evangelist in his town, kneeling down to us. Oh. I was like, God, who oh. are we? Who are we? Who are we? Like, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could see the joy in the man. His wife, both excited, shocking me. Oh. I was like, Whoa, I also have shock in me. Oh, that oh, I can be yeah. shocked too. Oh, that only goes this is by God. <laughs> this is simply God. Ooh. It's simply God. Of course. And and from that day, the man constantly drive to our hotel to check up on us. Yeah. He also yes. joined the church, helped with the interpretation. So now we had three people doing the interpretation. Oh. Oh. Teresa, oh. the man, and the, the teacher. teacher. The teacher. Yeah. And the teacher also brought in another friend lecturer in the university. <laughs> and, and that paved yeah, the way for us to one of the nursing, um, one of the nursing schools. Um, so that evangelist had been to one nursing institution where he has he, he goes to share the word of God. Mm. So because of the encounter with us and the Holy Spirit baptism, mm -hmm. he spoke to the institution and they gave us an opportunity to speak to the entire nursing and doctors who are being trained in that institution. Mm. And that was also another blessing God gave to us. Yeah. Because wow. in God's wisdom, we've met immigration officers, which to redeem with them. Now he took us to nurses and doctors yeah. to go and preach with them and pray with them. And there was another massive outpouring. And in that encounter, Pastor Enoch was also around. Yes. So we also came. And, Is that and what we saw earlier? Or oh, that was church no, service? That was church service. That was church service. Wow. That was an evening revival. Hey! And, and 
we were doing the revivals we did here in Ghana. I mean, uh, we, we've learned a lot. Yeah. We've learned a lot. And, and, and I think oh. we, we had nothing <laughs> to burden our hearts people? and our minds except for praying oh. and working. Oh. Now, it, I, could, I could say maybe one of the challenges is if you're in Ghana, you are thinking about survival and all those things. Mm. But they mm. renew our life. Mm. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> sold out. Yes. Sold out, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Life if, is if, out, if we are not doing it, then what, what are we doing? doing? What, are we doing? what are we doing? So we were all out. All out. What's the use of life if you are not doing missions? Not doing missions. And, and, and the nurses, the nurses were scared when someone received Holy Spirit. They yes. were taking the pen because they were health people. They were there to it take was the their first time since so when a person, when the God, when the Holy Spirit started manifesting, <laughs> and if someone fell, they quickly start, they are health. They want to practice their health profession. They bring their they are two yeah. they want to quickly take the person to an emergency ward. So we were like, no. no. Then another person falls. Yes, yes. They, they, uh, that, that is the only thing that you know. They were falling yes. down and yes. they are yeah, taking they them to emergency rooms. Yes. 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 So, with that one, there was no laying of hands. There was no laying of hands. The Holy Spirit, Spirit was just ministering to the people. We separated and we were walking through the people. Hey. Yes. It was a very Pastor large number. was there. So for that is. For Joe, hey. Joe, Joe's incident was in uh, Roti, but I think mine was at that place mm. where you walk through the people and, your shadow. and they will be, they will be that, falling. That, I'm sure that was the shadow. Yeah, uh, the, the Bible talks about exactly. Peter. Because I know I see you walk through the people. <laughs> mm. I'm sure your we'll shadow is going to be falling. Just pray hey. that all I mean, the yeah, when and, you move out, yeah, the number is going to be falling. If you do the same thing here, you know, not necessarily. <laughs> It yeah, necessarily. Yeah, it can happen. It, it, yes, it can happen. It may not work. Yeah. 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 And, and I God, God wanted them to see something. Oh, not, not only yes. they thinking about their profession yes. as health officers, yes. healing people, yes. but yes. also there is another power that if a health officer you have and possess, you can, you can be extraordinary. Sure. So I think that particular place, I was so confident in my heart that mm. God wanted them to see mm. that he can do something mm. And if those nurses and doctors Hallelujah. could accept it into their lives, Hallelujah. their work in their country would become Hallelujah. very, very, very yes. fruitful. Hallelujah. And like, it was just out among, <laughs> and the, the, doc, the health people, yes. I think they have large numbers. Mm. Yes. I don't think it's only Ghana we have more nurses. They also have a very large yeah, number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, so it was just over us. Oh. You, oh. you can't say you want to touch them, so we just have to walk no. through the people because they are mass. And, Pastor Enoch, I want Teresa myself, Yao, and the evangelist who joined us. Yes. Was now he's like, also being yeah, baptized. Yes. And, oh, and it oh, was oh, just oh. overflowing. Oh. And this helped people. Mm. At the initial stage, they were thinking of putting their skills into practice. But so, now they realize that okay. nobody's touching you. Okay. <laughs> but why am I falling? Exactly. And, and they, 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 had, they were just surprised themselves mm. and they realize that there is indeed God mm. in what we say. There was one time, one person was like, oh, we've heard Jesus before, but I didn't know it's like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. So now you know it's like this. I said, yes. We can also do the same if you pray. So, I'll do, I'll do, I'll wow. do. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, Jesus, you're yes. just so sweet. Yeah. Oh, don't we love him? Okay, we want to take a praise. I guess we will come back and talk about all of this is manual. It's money. Plane tickets, yeah, plane it's tickets money, yes. hotel, accommodation, yeah, accommodation everything. Yeah. And if we can send many more to these young people, mm -hmm. it's not going to be about them. Mm -hmm. Whoever is ready and available. Yes, Mama. We have Pastor um, um, Enoch Park, Parkways, Park Kofi Anaman on the yes. line. We want to hear a praise report from him. Hello. Okay, please unmute. Please unmute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we bless the Lord so, so much for all that He's doing in the nations. From all that we hear, uh, what, all that I can say is that it's good to go. He told us to go to Matthew 28. And when you go, then you give the platform for signs and wonders to manifest that. 
souls are saved. The Lord is doing mighty things in the nations. Over here in Equatorial Guinea, uh, we have not been left out. God has been so, so good to us. Um, when we came earlier, things were a little bit tough. But when we were praying, when we didn't know what to do, how to continue, in one of our meetings, our prayer meetings, one brother who was, he had an accident at the workplace and he got blind in the right eye. When he came to one of our prayer meetings, we prayed that instantly the eyes got open and the news went out to the town. And before we realized, all those people who had gone back uh, apparently, when we came, there was a breakaway and it had affected the church. But when that miracle happened in Malabo, people started coming. Uh, actually, we thought God had uh, done so much for us. That was in January last year. Then another one followed. In February, we visited the continental in Bata. And that was uh, during the apostolization time. They had a wedding. As we were preparing for the wedding, we we got a call that the, the bride, when she was being prepared, collapsed and passed out. We rushed the scene and this lady was down foaming. People were crying, wailing. Uh, she was dead. They were crying. But something happened also in 2018 that uh, two of our elders were passing by a shop, uh, a, ph a pharmacy shop, and they, they were invited that somebody was not well, so they should come and pray for the person. They prayed for the person. Later, the person was sent to the hospital and died at the hospital. This caused the arrest of, of the two elders, and our church in that place, Mongomo, was closed in 2018. So when we were faced with this one, who had come to be, be prepared at the Nishi house, they spent the night on Friday and Saturday morning, she, she was gone. They said, this one will not happen. We prayed and prayed and prayed. Some were calling that we, we send the lady to the hospital, but we felt in a way that if we should take her to the hospital, she will not survive. We prayed for a while, and all of a sudden, like an electric shock, she just came back to life, and the whole place was filled with joy. Now, the wedding delayed for about three hours, but by the grace of God, this lady came back to life, and that carried the church all over the nation. Yeah. So started coming, all the backsliders were uh, just coming back like that. One wonderful thing that happened was that at that place, some people had, had been in the church for 10 years without water baptism because of our coming uh, background. But when that incident happened, after the wedding the Sunday, we ministered with them and people were running. People had been in the church for years without water baptism turned out to be baptized. The Lord is doing so many things and we see that it is because there is a force from home and the people here praying. So let's continue praying, let's continue to support the work uh, and know that as we pray, and go, the Lord himself is, is going to confirm his word with signs and wonders. I see my brother Yao and uh, the team there. When they, we went to Sao Tome, they joined us there. After God held us entry in June, then uh, they joined us in October. But 
something strange happened in Sao Tome. For like, for like 12 years, we, we have been trying to enter. Central Africa entering is very difficult. But we, we found one of our brothers here who told us the father is from there, but was late. He didn't know the place. We just said he should go. When he went, we didn't have any history of his family. But when he got there, God strangely led him to the family in two days. He was accepted. Then the church started there in Nevis. In, in a month's time, we started one assembly. Then uh, the Pensa International joined us in October. Then another assembly was also uh, uh, opened in the capital. We have two assemblies there now. But the one wonderful thing that God did was that there was this man in Nevis who God had prepared waiting for us to just get there. Now, uh, he gave us a place to uh, stay, start our service. And when the, we sent another pastor to go and help the work, this man was going around house to house with the pastor, telling the people that this is a man of God who has been sent by God. So we, we are thanking God so, so much. We are thanking all those praying to support the work of missions. Let's keep praying. Let's keep giving. And the Lord will continue to do wondrous things all to the glory of his name. Amen. A few hours, a bride. Oh, yeah, where you're going to wonder, no, or no, and and <laughs> and God, through the prayer of missionaries, brought her back to life for her to go and continue the ceremony. <laughs> and and because of that, people, all the backsliders, and the people, and the church, you, you, the church suffered a breakaway, you said. Yeah, please unmute again. Hello. Yes, Daddy. Yeah, that there was there was a breakaway about two weeks before we arrived uh, here in September 2021. Okay. So that one affected the, the church, church. Uh, before we we arrived. And God. <laughs> Dramat in this <laughs> dramatically, miraculously, is bringing all of them back. All of them back, and and the another aspect of it is that that church, which was closed in Mongomo, twenty eighteen, mm. because of that prayer related issue, mm. has now been reopened. Hallelujah! Been reopened. Hallelujah! Oh. Wherever you are, just say thank you, Jesus. He's doing... How do I explain this? God is good. And this, these things, they just tell you that God is with us. He, he is with us. And, the, and that he is... Oh, yeah, baby. So you better join. You know, whatever is happening has nothing to do with the people. It's God at work. It's God at work. It's God at work. So join in. Apostle. Oh. Miracles, signs. And wonders. When wonders follow everybody from the apostle, pastor, mm. elder, mm. weakness, mm. member, mm. youth. Mm. <laughs> it it follows us. How, how? In Senegal, we have a lot of testimonies mm. in Gabon and all those places. Hallelujah. So, yeah. Let's... We, 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 we're going to be bringing every year, mm -hmm. note that this is a, an annual program that every missions we, we do for um, um, missions. So it's called Missions Night, where we sit to look at what God has done throughout the year and share the miracles, the praise reports, and bless his name. And so that those of us who are listening will be encouraged and will know that what God is doing you go along with him he's, he's going to give you more 
so that you can give more. Apostle, uh, um, what, how important is cash, money? To missions. To missions. It's like asking how important is blood to the life of the human being. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like the analogy. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very important. Mm. It's very, very important mm. because God is on the move. Yes. And yes. He, has, he has sent us mm. and we must go. Yes. And I always say that, yes, we must go. You know, like when Jesus said that, ye shall receive power mm. when the Holy Ghost comes upon you mm. and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the, of the earth. Mm. He knew yeah. that when they start in Jerusalem, they have to cross frontiers, mm. uh, you know, and, and move out. And as they move out, like we move out from Ghana, mm. and you get to the airport, and you, you hold your Bible, and you want to go to Indonesia um, mm. to do mission, mm. or any other country for that matter. And the lady sitting at the ticketing counter, or the, the check-in, mm. I say, yes, Joe, where, where is your ticket? Let me check you. So I don't have a ticket. I'm going to preach the gospel. <laughs> so, so allow me to go. allow me to go. <laughs> they will call the they will, they will call the security. <laughs> you are there when they will call the security and say there is some guy here who's who's head the two boom. So come and take him. You know. So no matter how good intentioned you are, ah. you have to be supported. Mm. You know, you, we need money, yes. you know. So, and uh, as I said from the beginning, our church has done very well. Our church members have done tremendously well. Oh. Um, but there is more room for improvement. As we reach many more nations mm. of the world, it means we have to increase our giving. And as the economy of Ghana suffers hmm. under... The, the difficulty, the challenges of the foreign exchange rate to the, to the Ghana city. Yes. <laughs> it mm. means that if during my time, mm. if I needed $10, yeah. f maybe 50 cities mm. will do. Yes. 50 cities, 58 cities yes. will do. 60 cities will do. Mm. Now, yes. if I need $10, mm. I need 130 yes. cities. Yes. So you, you see, more than double, more than double, mm. more than double. So if yesterday, last year, you were given ten cities mm. for missions offering, mm. Mm. it means you have to give more than double of mm. that even to get the same amount. Meanwhile, we their work too is expanding. Yes. So you see, you see the dynamics yes. of the whole thing. So yes. we really, really have to um, to double our efforts or triple our efforts or quadruple our efforts yes. when it comes to to giving. And uh, I want to thank every member of the Church of Pentecost, oh. every officer of the Church of Pentecost, oh. every minister of the Church of Pentecost for, for the, the spirit of giving. Mm -hmm. But as I said, we have to do more to. because times are hard. The, the, the exchange rate is yes. having a toll yes. on the missions enterprise. Yes. And the work too is expanding. Mm. And so we need to really do more. We need to yeah. do more. We need to, young men, uh, uh, as you went around, as you, I mean, I'm sure, like, so like we are hearing, uh, Indonesia is not the only place you've been. She said, we are missionaries at Casa. So talk to us about how important you think money is as, as uh, you went around. <laughs> yes. Well, talking about money, mm. it is very, very, very important. So we're talking about place of worship. Yes, so it is very costly mm -hmm. renting a place of worship. So just like Papa was saying, right from Indonesia, you went to Sao Tome, mm -hmm. and getting a place of worship is expensive. Mm -hmm. And most especially, if you want to start from the capital, the city, yes, yes, the big which is something the church, yeah. the God is asking the Has church to do, to do to now. Do. Yes, yeah. that a year. Starting from a fringes, you know, mm. it was a method at the time. Now, mm. as a as, as yeah. Thank you it's, it's, for bringing that. It's, it's very, very expensive. Mm. Mm. And also, deliberately, sometimes 
when you when we are going for the missions, we don't only go to we go to professional class also. We we went to the universities, we met yes. some vice chancellors and VC. VCs in various universities. We went to in meet Indonesia. Them in um South Tome. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> so when 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 we meet such people, mm. they also bother and consider where you stay. Sometimes that oh. also defines your yeah. class. Yeah. Whether they should accept you or not. Yes, yeah. because you can't maybe be from anywhere and you just come and mm -hmm. you want to. No, no, no. You also mm. have their range of class. So sometimes mm. we even going to stay in a hotel. Mm -hmm. We have to deliberately look for a place where it is known to the people mm. so that when you mention I reside here, that even place you at a level where even if the person feels he's yeah. bossy, he will humble himself to listen to you. <laughs> And, 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 and Even the hotel, yes. yes, you need an expensive hotel mm -hmm. yes. sure. to get the attention. Exactly, yes. Some class of people yeah. where, 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 you, where you are is mm -hmm. a, a factor, it's a major concern to them. Because I remember one time in one of the places we went to one office, and the guy was just behaving in a way. So, mm -hmm. we I, I had this hotel, um, one of this hotel, um, they are not part. Okay. Because I had to maybe take it along because of the evangelism, my rights, name, and okay. contacts. Okay. So I, I didn't know. Okay. I, I only took it along because I didn't want to pick a big book okay. or something to be so heavy mm -hmm. moving around. Mm -hmm. So I had to place that down. And it was, oh, oh, this hotel, fine, 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 fine. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh. Then I realized the attitude of this guy who was has changed. Changing, was, yeah. Has changed. Oh, you're in this hotel. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Really? Go yeah. money. I said, yeah. You didn't even know that notepad could do that. Yeah. No. God has a way and, of yeah. and everything. And, yes. and just that notepad and the pen humbled the man enough to listen to the message. Wow. Oh. And 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 this is money. See, can we hear? This is mm. money. This is money. You know what, what Pastor uh, for Madagascar said yes. that that headquarters yes. had done wonders for yes. them. You see, that, that is that's what he's talking about, yeah. and and so you know, as the mission the people seen that structure, and, that. and God God gave us a breakthrough, you know, yeah. especially from 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 twenty nineteen all the way to twenty 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 one, and during the COVID time, mm. God gave us breakthrough to be able because people were selling their properties and, and also they also gave us the opportunity to also build them. and we bought a lot of properties mm. when you go to Tanzania for example mm. they have um, we bought $750,000 property in Whoa. Tanzania Whoa. that has been a game changer for mm. the PIWC yes for the PIWC you went there, you went there. yes all right Kenya fantastic the same. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. yeah fantastic Uganda Ooh. just like the Madagascar one some Ooh. four story Building, big one. Whoa. It is there. Kived. I mean, all, all, all over Argentina wow. and, and and all the places. Wow. You know, so it it, it it changes the face of the church. Mm. It changes the face when people come. I, where did I go? And recently, just just recently, is it during the apostolization or where? I went somewhere, and the people were saying that. I think right here in Ghana, somewhere. I think one of the some of the mission areas. Or it says. Because of where they meet, when people come, they don't stay. Yeah. Especially a certain caliber of exactly. people. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And so, it is money is very important. How much is seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in CDs now? A lot. Especially <laughs> because a of lot. what God is asking the church to, to do now. Yeah. We need more. Yeah. We see? have to bring this so, to a close, hmm. but uh, oh, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's expensive. Missions is expensive. Missions is expensive. Very, very expensive. Missions is exciting. Missions. Very exciting. Oh, very exciting. Missions. I love, I wish I was a missionary. You know, wow. missions <laughs> is an offshoot of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. yes. And they said that Pentecost yes. is plenty cost. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty, plenty. Cost. Yeah, if you really do the work of Pentecost, mm, mm, it is mm. plenty cost. Plenty cost. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> this has been Missions Night, the 2023 edition of 
missions night. Tomorrow is Sunday, and we're going to church, and the main agenda tomorrow is to celebrate what God is doing in missions and also to give so that God can continue what he is doing. It is your decision whether you're going to join in or not. Whether you're going to think the money in your accounts is yours or you're ready to release it. You have heard all these testimonies. You know that if we're able to send many more people, especially young people like this, God would do great things. Lives are changing. And tomorrow, as you go to church tomorrow, decide with your family how much you're going to give. You know the dollar rate issue, right? Apostle just said it. If we needed $10 last year, we only needed 50 cities. But this year, if we need the same $10, we need 130 cities before we could get the $10. So whatever it is we gave last year, we have to give more this year. After all, whatever it is we have in our account is there for this purpose. Trust me. This is not for Banku and Fufu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As for that, he would always give us. But he gives us extra so that when it is time to do these things, he will come and say, uh, Somia, uh-huh, Odiaba, uh, John, Odiaba, Apostle Odiaba, Midibia Kahu, Usu Dibia Kahu. Then God, with this, uh, God, he doesn't have any bank here. It is my account and it is your account. He puts the money in our account. Because I said that may be an account via Ghana. So let's give to him. Trust him. Give from a heart that says, I'm ready. I mean, we, uh, this is a young guy who went to resign so that he would go out there on missions and do the work of God. Young Kasa resigning. You see, what you're getting, give so that many more people can resign and go out there and save souls that, that are getting lost. You have seen what God is doing. It's so obvious that So it's your decision whether you are ready to come along or you keep your money and say that it is yours. As for me, I know my money is not mine. Dachi, yesu abasisiya. That's kind of good in our power. It's kind of a good account. When you invest here, invest here, invest here. I threw you on your investment crop. Why do you cry with me? It's here. So, what is here? So, I hold that. What do you pay a day? What do you pay a day? Trust me. When you give, haircut. Haircut, we can quack. Quack. We need money to do so much out there. Please decide with your family. Pray over that offering and tell God. That it's yours already anyway. Now for Kotumbe Fu. Now she said, Nyami, we shall when you are safe for now. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord bless you, young man. The Lord bless you, Elder Sumia, Yao Sumia. The Lord bless you, Joseph Pan. Dickin, Joseph Pan. Also, on your pen once. Yeah, I'll do it. Ah, Mr. Man, in the life. Dickin, eh, ba. The Lord bless you. And our Father, the immediate past. International Missions Director of the Church of Pentecost in the pressing of Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Adu, a wonderful, humble man of God. Oh, the smiling apostle. We love him. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you for all the work you have done. Yet, Swasu. When you own Shrao, Miss Rawachna, Ma, may you know, young Kambo, me and Cassie, a radi, so fray, yaba, so see your ma. You don't say no to your Lord. Give and he will bless you. The Lord bless you. It's been Missions Night. My name is Gina Asante. I've had such fun. And let's thank our father, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost, for all the innovations. and I mean, Pensa International. Daddy, God bless you. God bless you. And we thank our IMD, Apostle Emmanuel Ajima Bekwin. God um after the work of one 
uh, Apostle Emmanuel gave us another Apostle Emmanuel telling us that all oh, to oh hallelujah and so we want to thank you so much our fathers for the wonderful things that you are leading the church to do we appreciate it you hear from God and so we all we, once you hear from God oh hallelujah for wa kuma tai ni ebe koso asori wa chana ne chipa ya mi be shira wo ne wa sefo ye sign so eda the missionaries that brought us the praise report apostle masabo zu from liberia we also want to thank our pastor enoch pa kofi anaman from equatoria guinea we are so grateful also to apostle ransford obey from canada and Apostle, uh, Pastor George Ofori from Madagascar. What God is doing is amazing. Now, me, Nyangupo, or yeah, dear say, me, Kopatna, is there, I me, but in the end, join in and let's do this for God. Thank you. God bless you. See you tomorrow at church. You never fool. Bye. All the